Hey, it's Nate Savage from Guitario, and I know that a lot of newer guitar players really struggle with the open C major chord. And this is kind of a gateway or rite of passage chord for being able to play the guitar because you have to build so much coordination and strength that if you can play an open C major chord, you can pretty much play all the rest of your open chords with no problem. So in this lesson, I'm gonna give you some tips for being able to overcome this open C major chord and subsequently all of your other open chords too. All right, the first tip I have for you doesn't even involve making a C chord. It's just to bring your guitar neck up a little bit higher to put the neck in a better position for fretting the notes. You can do this a couple different ways. You can either get a strap and hold the guitar up a little bit higher. You can use the classical method of holding the guitar which puts the neck up a little bit higher. Or if you wanna stick with like the casual method of holding the guitar, you can use a footstool to bring the guitar, but just a little bit more to put it in a better position to grab all of your open chords, so that will help a lot. All right, next tip is to get your fingers right behind the fret. So if you have to make this note or play this note on the first fret of the second thinnest string, the B string, when you put your index finger down there, you're gonna to wanna to have it as close to the fret as possible, just right up on it, touching it. What happens as you go toward the middle of the fret, and even towards the back, it starts to buzz. And it's a little bit harder to push down for me back there too, so right behind the fret is one thing that you're gonna to wanna to always remember when you're making your open chords particularly. And all of these tips kind of work with one another to give you the best sounding C chord that you can get. And the next tip that I wanna go over is to get right on the very tips of your fingers. And by that, I mean don't get lazy and let your fingers kind of fall like this. What happens when you do that is your fingers run in or kind of mute the neighboring strings and that's what gives you this kind of muted sound on some of the strings. So make sure to get right behind the frets and then get on the very tips of your fingers, tall fingers, as much as possible. So that tip, right on the very tips of your fingers. And the next little tip comes directly from this one and you'll see why in a second. So we just talked about be on the very tips of your fingers. Watch, if I bring my elbow in to my body, my fingers kind of automatically get taller and straighten out. So the next tip is to bring your elbow in to your body. Don't have your elbow up here. That's gonna make it a lot tougher to come down on the very tips of your fingers. See how my fingers kind of flatten out there? Bring your elbow in and all of a sudden, your fingers kind of come right behind the frets and stand up nice and tall for the best sounding notes there. Another really good piece of advice that again kind of flows naturally from these other ones is to not kink your wrist too far one way or the other. If you kink it too far this way, your fingers flatten out again so you have trouble coming down on the tips of your fingers. So make sure your thumb is right behind the neck and then make sure your wrist is relatively straight. Mine's a little curved this way when I play an open C chord, but it's pretty much straight, not kink too far one way or the other. If you kink it too far the other way, it's gonna start to hurt right here after a while, so just be aware of that. Start with a nice relaxed posture, kind of straight, and then bring that C chord up. And remember all the things we talked about right behind the frets, tall fingers right on the very tips of your fingers, elbow in, don't kink it too far one way or the other. And all these things together will work to make that open C major chord sound really clean. A lot of times, newer players will just crank on the guitar. They'll push down really hard, but I would encourage you to experiment with how much pressure is enough to get a good sounding chord and only use that amount of pressure. You don't want to overexert yourself for no reason. So push down really hard and then line up, line up until the notes start to disappear and then push down a little bit harder and find out how much energy and how much pressure you need to make a good sounding open C major chord and then use that, don't use any more. And as far as getting the shape down, there are a couple of little methods that you can use to get things down a little bit faster. And at first, what you're, what's gonna happen is you're gonna put one finger on at a time, just because you're recalling the shape and you're kind of training your fingers where to go, and that's fine. You're gonna be working towards putting all three fingers on at once. And leave the low E string out, by the way, don't play that one at all. But at first, you're gonna be probably just like this, one, two, three, and then play right. So that's fine, do that. But also what I would encourage you to do, since it's tough to get this third finger out here, bring that elbow in so you can bring it out. Also go three, 
two, one. So start with your third finger, then put your second finger on, then put your first finger on. And alternate, go one, two, three, and then go three, two, one. You're kind of cross training here to build a coordination to eventually after you know a few days or a few weeks to come right to that C major chord. And see, I've done this so much and you will have done this so much that your C shape will pretty much already be in place before you even put it on the strings, which is what you want to be shooting for. So three, two, one, one, two, three. And another thing that will help you remember the C chord and get it down a lot faster is just simple repetition. Just putting it on, leaving it on there for you know 15 or 20 seconds, taking it off, completely off. Shake it out, then put it back on. And again, one finger at a time at first is okay, but eventually you're gonna wanna shoot for having the whole thing on. But just over and over again. And your fingers will be sore at first, but you know, keeping it to those multiple 15 minute practice sessions per day will help with that just on and off over and over again. And really be aware of all the tips we went over right behind the frets, elbow in, very tips of the fingers, don't kink your wrist too far one way or the other, check each single note, and try not to brush up against the neighboring strings with your fingers. So for example, my index finger right here is kind of brushing up against the high E string. Really be aware of that, check all the tips then readjust. And one thing that I want to mention here is try not to worry too much about changing between chords before you have these individual chord shapes down. So if you do that, if you're trying to switch between a G and a C, for example, before you can even play a C chord cleanly, that's just going to be frustrating for you. So spend the time, work on getting that C chord down or whatever chord you're trying to learn. You can apply all these tips to those chords too. One last tip that I have for you is to make sure that your guitar is set up to play as easy as possible. You don't want to be fighting your guitar unnecessarily if the action is really high, if the strings are really high off the fretboard. So if you take it to have it set up by a professional, that is money well spent and it's really worth it. So now this comes down to you. You have to make up your mind and say, hey, this is something that I want to do. Set a goal of, you know, two, three, four weeks of being able to play the C major chord and really put in the work. And if you have any questions on this stuff, you can leave them in the comments. I'll, I'd love to see that and I'll get back to you there. And if you are kind of a more advanced player that already has all your open chords down, you can leave some tips in the comments that have helped you over the years get to where you are. And it's always great to apply everything to music. So once you have that C chord down, a good next step would be to learn a G. And then a D as well, open D. And then just start putting those together making up your own songs. And you can play a load of different songs with just those three chords. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And if you need more help learning how to play the guitar, you can sign up for the free Guitario Beginner Guitar Starter Kit by clicking the link in the description below. I'll see you later.